Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You're, you're finding out who you truly are, embracing who you truly are and finding out more about yourself to be able to expand your level of consciousness so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life and their um their life purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites whatever you see fit thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support i greatly appreciate it and love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all i'm still listening to the same video um meditation because it's really boosting it up um my energy is uh boost your serotonin dopamine endorphin release binaural beats happiness frequency and um yeah because i was so tired y'all only got like three and a half hours of sleep but you know what i got a job to do i gotta i gotta push myself you know i said i'm not now i'm not gonna push myself to the point where i'm like dozing off while i'm talking to y'all but you know when it's time for me to rest i'll go ahead and rest so uh today my video is about twin flame 101 uh hell because never see yourself as an affliction you know i was like dad which video i'm gonna do today because it's like when i ask the universe if i can get me some content i got like three pages worth of content right now and i'm just like god dog i said okay i got many things to um uh, many things to uh go ahead and go off of so that is just a blessing for me so um but anyways it, it's just like we have grown up oh my gosh me growing up i knew something was different about me it's just certain things that i would see certain things i would experience that was like odd to me but it was natural at the same time but it was like if i explained it to you know if i explain it to my mom my mom would understand because she was an empath as well but my adopted father he wasn't so it was just like he made me feel like you know me being special being able to see things because i used to really get freaked out as like a four-year-old or a five-year-old seeing things like seeing demons seeing you know faces morph you know there are certain people's faces that would morph in front of me and i would run and i would scream and cry and then there's people i would gravitate towards and hug them because they've been through so much you know it's just like my mom was like she always used to tell me stop hugging people because you know you're just cute little you know cute little girl and somebody gonna snatch you up and i'm not trying to get killed <laughs> so my mom used to get mad at me especially when we were in germany and i probably told this uh, yeah i told this story before but i know a lot of people are new to the channel that when we used to live in uh frankfurt germany i used to live in swankfurt in frankfurt germany and um Anytime we go to the village, I used to love going to the village because it, I, I felt free. I was just like, people were like candy. It's like, oh, I want to touch them or, oh, I want to touch them. And my mom was, you know, and I used to cry and hug people like happy tears. And I'm like, it's okay. And I don't know what was going on. My mom was like, like, wow, this is weird, you know. And I, I would just hug people. And my mom was like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Did they hurt you? I'm like, no. They were just really sad. And I was trying to cheer them up. And I didn't realize I was taking on, you know, these people's emotions like that. And I was, like, transferring mine from them and taking on theirs. I mean, that's kind of weird of a four-year-old child, you know, remembering a past life. I was telling my mom about my past life, you know, telling her, you know, I was a twin with my dad. You know but i didn't make it you know and he's sad about that but now i'm here now and he's my dad again you know he's my dad this time and my mom was like 
did anybody tell you something? You know, and he just started freaking out because my mom was like, how would she know this? You know, she hasn't been talking to anybody, but yet somebody's been talking to her. So it, it's just like if you have parents or, you know, it, it just seems like any of us as empaths or especially Hayokas or any kind of form of a spiritually gifted person, we have been placed in families that, you know, are narcissistic, are sociopaths, are psychopaths, where they made us feel like our gifts were illnesses, like there was something wrong with us. And there's nothing wrong with you. I mean, it's just like when you have gone and, I, you know, my heart goes out to anybody that's why I love doing what I do because it's like when I first started doing my videos, I had nobody to turn to. My dad was mentally there for me, metaphysically. He was telling me certain things that I needed to look up. He would have me write down or doing spirit writing and just writing it down and that freaked me out. And it was just amazing when I was learning more and more about myself because as growing up, I couldn't talk about these things because uh, my adoptive father always categorized it as being illness somebody's gonna think she's crazy somebody's gonna think something's wrong with her she needs to stop talking like that she needs to not talk about stuff like that so i get really scared but my mom would allow me to be free about it when he wasn't around so it's just like being able to go through these things now and being able to see my life as a child was very interesting but it was very sad as well because it's just like going growing up like that it makes you feel like something's wrong with you it makes you feel like i'm different yes you are different it makes you feel like you don't belong you don't belong you don't belong with a certain set of people but you were put in this place for them to be able you to be able to emulate what things that they need to know about themselves so it's just like growing up with these situations you know I've, I've been getting so many of my love bugs telling me Rosalind I'm glad I found your videos because you're letting me know I don't have illness you know because it's scary when you go through a spiritual awakening dark night of the soul ascension kundalini and you don't know what you're going through and don't even know that you're an empath, that has to be a scary situation. And I, I mean, I, I feel for anybody who has to go through that because that will make you feel like you're losing your mind. Then you go to the doctor and they can't find nothing wrong with you. And it's just like, and if you want to go see a therapist, I say, I told everybody, I don't told y'all even on these videos. If I go see a therapist, he has to be a spiritual therapist. You have to be an empath therapist for me to talk to you. Because if you're not one, oh, you ain't about to lock me up. Because <laughs> things, you know, I'm going to tell you, you won't think something wrong with me. So, oh, I ain't about to do that. You know, even my, my ex was asking me, Bronson, you need to go see a therapist. With the things I'm going on and you see things shifting up in here, you think, he was like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> he said, because they're going to think something wrong with you because he's like, if I didn't see it for myself, I would have thought something was wrong with you. But he, he witnessed a lot of things. He seen me getting yanked out of the bed. I was in a spiritual warfare in my house where I was terrified to sleep by myself right after my father passed. It was like about two or three weeks or maybe a month afterwards. I was really going through rage. I think I was going through dark night of the soul in the worst kind of way to where it was like you can be, you know, it's just like top-notch empaths. You can be God's favorite, but just, it, just the fact that you being on a certain level that you don't even know you're on and God uh, and the devil bringing some dark ones to you. And I, that's why I start calling them darklings. Them little, ooh, it, it looks like something off of, uh, God, dog, I can't even describe them things. It looks like something off, you, the matter of fact, the ones that I used to see in the, uh, matter of fact, the ones that I used to see if I go over to the further, and I call it the further when I'm helping people out when I go to the spiritual world and channel, they look like things off of the Insidious. If you ever seen Insidious before, and that, that, that dude, that boy's daddy was sitting there, he was talking to his mom, Barbara Hershey, was right across from him, and she see that thing peep up at her and growl, that's what them things were looking at me. I said they were all black, it wasn't red and black, it was all black and it smelled like sulfur, like really bad. So it's just like going through stuff like that, you know, you, if you have abusive families or somebody who's closed minded, they will make you feel like you're afflicted. And it's not. I mean, this is a gift from God. I was like, God was an indigo. So, I mean, it, it's just like people try to say, oh, this is the work of the devil. And that really pisses me off when people say that. I said, because if you really dive deep to it, 
and it's just like I don't disrespect nobody who who has religion or reads the Bible I just don't read it because there are certain things I know that didn't happen that they put in that Bible to try to make control people on how they seen God on how things happen when you can actually remember your past lives back in the biblical days and stuff like that you're not gonna want to relive this by opening the Bible you know especially if you 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 can remember you know, it's like ever since I was little, my mom would make me read the Bible and I would scream and cry and scream and cry. And it wasn't about me being possessed or nothing like that. It just brought back a lot of daggone memories that I wanted to forget about from that past life. I can't even watch anything with Passion of the Christ or anything like that. I start having a fit. It gives me a complex because I remember those times and I almost slipped up and said in front of my whole family, that's not how it went that's what they want you to believe but that's not how it went but I had to leave that alone I ain't touched that with a 10 foot pole but it's just like I respect people who want to believe that you know I don't I don't not nobody who wants to do that that's all on you but if you remember what happened and you were placed in that life you're gonna know certain things did happen in this Bible and certain things didn't happen and there's a lot of things they want to leave out of it just to have you converted and thinking a certain way about certain things they want to control us that's when you step out the matrix you know that's why I'm just like hey do you when it comes to that Bible situation but I, I know the truth so you know you go ahead and do what you want to do but it's just anything that you have that is spiritually gifted that was blessed upon you bestowed to you you had a mission to this world where you're gonna need that you need to study you need to embrace don't be scared of things that you know you don't understand what's coming yet because you are very well protected you know you have archangels you have angels you have uh, ascended masters you have your spirit guides you have your ancestors I mean with us being Hayokas we got tribes all over the place so we're you know if it's something was supposed to happen it's gonna happen and ain't nobody gonna be able to stop that but if you know you got a job to do you might go through some bumps and bruises but you are protected so don't ever sit up here and think that what your gift was is an issue because some people in their mind if they gone through so many things we at first when i if you've been with me for a while or you watched my old videos you would hear me say it was a blessing and a curse but then when i step myself back and look at the issues that i have the only thing that hurts me a lot is like if somebody asked me to read them that's the worst thing because with me having a medium psychic gift clairvoyant clair audience whatever they call it clear uh, whatever that word I can't pronounce it but going through that and being able to read people I don't like reading into their lives because I feel like that's raping somebody's thoughts that's raping somebody's mind you're violating things that they didn't ask you to see and it's just like you can't tell me just to read a certain part of you without me seeing the rest of you for the reason why you are the way you are for me to be able to tell you the reason why you're acting the way you're acting so I just don't like doing that with other people because I've done it before and number one it freaked them out number two you know they might not have wanted me to know what happened to them on certain aspects so it's that's the curse part to me but being able to bless that person allow them to heal and know like this and this and this happened to you and this is why and this is what you need to pay attention to because there's a lot of people I've came across here on this platform and been able to help people on one-on-one -on -one and being able to tell them things and I've never physically seen these people and be able to tell them things about their families or their situations they're in I didn't even know about so those are blessings to me you know I mean it might feel like a blessing and a curse to you but when you being able to use your stuff for the greater good being able to see yourself as the high of your the high of your your gift being able to know that you can do good things with your gift is no longer a curse to you you no longer feel afflicted you know it might be hard for somebody to take grasp the concept of the things that you are able to do because they'll feel like oh that's the devil's work now nah, if you're doing the devil's work you know that's all on you but it's just like whatever you're putting out if you're putting out good intentions you know just like me being a, a witch you know my family is like very religious type people you know so certain family members are like no they never did that you don't know what they did if they weren't you know if they weren't putting it out there especially if they're church goers a lot of people feel like they're you know they're they're disobeying God for doing that and it's not if you are sitting up there pushing out good and doing something in a good intention you're not disobeying God you're not going against God this is why it was placed upon you anyway God had his his thing you know he was gifted like that as well 
So never feel yourself as afflicted. Never see your gift as a curse. You know, when you when you can really truly see a different perspective as it, it is a beautiful gift that has been placed upon you for a good reason. Which you will end up finding the meaning behind the situation of you getting in the first place when it's that time for you to know. So I hope you were able to... Uh, you know resonate with this video drop me a line let me know how you feel about this give me you know give me your two cents about it it is greatly appreciated know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved you know when there's somebody out there praying for your better days and i'm going to give a shout out to buse bitula katie stat ziggy moon and alien vegan and gabriel the rising soul much love to y'all many blessings sending out love and light send out as much love and you know love light and blessings and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever love and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days i love y'all so much and i'll see you in my next video peace and be wild